Let's talk about bench press, guys. Everybody loves to bench. I love to bench. Your next door neighbor loves to bench. Your cat loves to bench. Your dog probably loves benching, okay? We all love to do it. It makes us feel good about ourselves. It satisfies our ego. And the crazy thing is all we're really doing is literally lifting weight from, from here to there. That's it. That's all we're doing, y'all. We're just loading up some weight and dropping it down our chest and pushing it back up again. There's nothing really special about that, but for some reason, it makes everybody go to the gym and just attack it. Like, whenever you go to the gym, the bench press is super full. Everybody's always benching. All the guys with small chests are benching. Like, everybody benches, okay? So let's talk about why it is not the greatest exercise for chest development. The thing is, when you bench, it's really, really compromising your rotator cuff, okay? And then when you get down deep enough to actually stretch your chest and get something out of the movement for your chest, that's when the shoulder injuries happen, okay? So, yeah, well, you can stimulate your chest, gro your chest growth with bench. In order for you to do that, you actually kind of have to hurt yourself, okay? And that's not good. We don't want to hurt ourselves to grow our chest because then we can't train chest. And if we can't, we can't train chest, then who's gonna look at us when we work out, okay? So, I, plus another problem with it is if you notice when you hold your arms out and you bring them back down, they kinda wanna twist, right? Well, bench press locks your hands in, okay? And that's gonna pinch everything in those little, jo little joints. You might even feel them like kinda crack and pop sometimes. Okay, so that's not good either, all right? Bench press is just really, for what we get out of it, if we're trying to be jacked or ripped or just overall functional, bench press is really not the best lift. It's not even good for shoulders because I mean, obviously like that's not really a, you're not training your shoulders that much. A much better move for shoulders would actually be overhead press. And a lot of people think that their shoulder pain comes from that. However, the fact is, if you shoulder press correctly with your elbows in, it's much more natural than the bench press move, having your elbows out, coming down to your chest. It's just straining everything, okay? Now, you can bench press with your hands closer, and that's gonna hurt less, but then it's not training your chest, so really, what's the point, okay? So, I suggest hitting dumbbell presses, you know, where you can actually kind of move your hands freely. Okay, load that weight up, press straight up, squeeze. You're gonna get a lot more in terms of chest development and strength gains than you will from flat barbell press. I would recommend subbing, subbing out your incline barbell press with that as well. You know, the thing is, anything with barbells, your body can't move naturally and so that's how it gets hurt, okay? I'm not saying barbells are bad, deadlifts are great, squats are great, but the problem with bench press is we just, we get too into it and we hurt ourselves because it's not that efficient of a movement in terms of giving us gains for the injuries that we experience from it. I'm pretty sure I've, I can count on like all my fingers and toes and number of people I know who have been, been injured from bench press. I'm pretty sure I know more people who have hurt their shoulders on bench press than more people who have hurt their backs on deadlifts and squats. And that's crazy. All right, so what I'm suggesting to you is not that you stop bench pressing completely, but that you stop obsessing over bench press because it's really not, not that big of a deal. Big whoop, your nervous system can get your fast switch fibers to all fire at the same time and push some weight up. Nobody cares, all right? Only people in the gym care, okay? It's not growing your chest. It's just your nervous system has adapted to lifting that weight for that particular movement for that one time, okay? Because you don't see anybody in there benching 315 for 30 reps, which might actually grow their chest, right? They're only benching like 225 for one half, okay? So... Don't drop the bench press completely, but instead of benching every week, maybe try incorporating some dumbbell press, some dumbbell flies, yada, yada, yada. All this stuff is really gonna help your chest grow a lot more and help keep you from getting injured. Also, another point on this, 
If you're gonna be doing a lot of anterior work, make sure you work in your posterior chain too. That means your rear delts. So more of an over rows because those actually hit your rear delts too, not just your back, okay? Reverse dumbbell flies, supported work, reverse dumbbell flies, all that stuff. Make sure you're throwing that in and that's gonna help prevent your shoulder injuries as well. All right, thanks for watching guys.